So all this is what you need. This is all you get. Uh, I'm kind of curious as if it's one of the ones that comes in a case or not, because they did threaten to have the second release of the Raspberry Pi come in a case and not look all cool or bare and naked. Uh, oh no, it comes all bare and naked. Uh, I don't know why, but I think this is a lot cooler. Plus the box it came in, you could easily cut some holes in that and have that as the case. Um, getting started, go to element14.com forward slash raspberry pi. Okay. Wow. Sign that. Okay. So the box can go there. I don't know if you can even still see that. Put it there. Um, this is static free bag, obviously. Just make sure I'm earth before I actually open it. Out it comes. So this is the Raspberry Pi. Put this. Put this there. Be a nice little surface for it to sit on. Now, right, let's see. Now I've been doing a little bit of research on this thing, and I know where everything goes, roughly. So we've got two USB ports here. Ethernet port, but your internet basically goes in. Your HDMI out, which is unusual for a computer. Most computers are DVI out to HDMI in. Um, there are expandable bits as well. Um, no heatsink, no fan, so it's ultra silent. But if you were going to stress it, I'd say uh, I can't find the power. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Micro USB. Now let's see. Let us just see if this is the right one. Oh yeah, look, little light come on. Okay. So what? There's no on switch, which I'm gonna have it means that you've got to have it all set up, and then put the power cable in, and that's how it boots up. So. Is our TV uh, which we're going to connect it up to? Um, we're not only going to use it for playing uh, video on, but we are going to use it a lot for that. Um, HDMI cable going on in. It all feels quite delicate, so I'm going to put my thumb behind the actual port itself, save uh, putting stress on the solders. Um, I'm just going to pop up, make sure that that's nice, central, in shot. Oh, it's perfect. Right, I'm not even sure you can see my face at any point during that video. Um, yeah, what's the next bit I need? Oh yeah, turn the telly on. Because um, I've just put the HDMI in. Okay. The telly's flashing at me. There we go. Um, so, Raspberry Pi need USB keyboard. Plug that in. Try getting it the right way around. It is, oh, I got it right first time. It is 50 50. So then we've got the uh, Oh, that is the mouse, sorry. Keyboard is here. Again, because it's lower the lever, looks like it's got quite a bit of leverage on it. If I push that in, it might just wrench the whole assembly off. There we go. So there's your keyboard. HDMI, keyboard, Ethernet. Well, take the Ethernet off this. cable here. It's not got a pin to hold it in, but it's the longest cable we've got to go from upstairs where the router is, so let's get ourselves a little bit of slack on there. And it should go in, no trouble at all, just there, like that. And 
the most important, the brain of the thing, the actual solid state hard drive technology goes in this way around. Right. Now I could go online and check out all the instructions before I do this, but I'm pretty confident that this won't explode or do anything mad. It should just boot up. I hope you can read that. USB found, one port detected, then USB mass, storage driver, registered new interface driver, USB storage. Oh. Still beating. Let's try and get the reflection reduced. I don't know if you can even read that. It's a bit small. This IP address, new Linux, 6.0 Raspberry Pi, TTY1, will it boot, has it booted, the current bar, there might, yeah it looks like there's a little bit of text off to the left, uh, so I'm going to play around with the TV remote, see if I can get that to display. Full. Oh, Raspberry Pi login. Ah! <laughs> All right, I didn't prepare for this, so uh, it works. Everything's connected to it and it works. And it's a computer that can come through your letterbox in an envelope wow anyway uh raspberry pi unboxed and all beautiful and shiny uh so yeah um good news for all you hdc owners you're gonna need another hdc charger um for all you people who don't own a hdc but do own a Raspberry Pi, I would recommend the HTC charger. It's a good quality build, uh, and it uh, looks like it can resist a bit of wear and tear. It doesn't look like it will break. Um, as for the actual Raspberry Pi, would definitely recommend it. Um, obviously, I'm going to require a login for this before I can move swiftly onwards. So once I've secured the login from my Housemate has actually set up the um, the actual SD card. Then I might be able to get back to you and film that bit.